Last game of the day coming your way, guys. Spam some love in the chat for the teams that you support. Maybe spam some love for Nixty, because what he just pulled off there was absolutely insane. Sure, it isn't a one-man job. Northwest was there applying a lot of pressure too, but over a thousand damage done in one game. That has to be some sort of at least um at least at least a uh, a promotionals record for a single person performance. Really good job coming in by Nixties, but of course one game ain't gonna determine it all. They still have a lot more games to be played. But only one today, only one more game to be played today. Now they have gone military the last couple of games, but where where will four AK or four angry kids go this time around? It's gonna be interesting to see. Everyone jumping on out. We see them on the map there. Wizards going up north as usual. Meet your makers. They're going down towards their um, water town split. You got Persis making their way down south as well. Going on each their side of um, of the area of Pachinki. And then we have two teams once again. Once again. Two teams making their way up towards Georgia Bowl. South George, not an area we normally see split. I mean, it can easily be done. It can easily be done. Not uh, not the biggest issue, but not an area we normally see split. And Riddle runs again under pressure early game. We've seen that a lot before. We've seen them fight up in the northern side, actually up in that exact area early before. And this was the fight for vehicles. Didn't work in favor of them and uh, Cerebro to get themselves a kill. And why not take a third game to the west? This time around, even more west than what we've seen previously. But uh, third game that goes on the western side of Wrangle. Ooh, Fosworth took one hit alpha. He threw 21 off the at him, but um, but only able to connect one, unfortunately. See, once again, the split up here, Swarm, they have been used to splitting uh, Pachinki. It's not really the biggest issue for them to get looted up there. And, um, and out of war as well, Andy made a good effort last game. They got nine kills in total. I believe Andy got six of those. So good effort previously but they had kind of the same thing going as we saw with um with ak the fact that uh, for ak the fact that they lost two players somewhat early on in the game when they tried to push up on the mountainside they lost tony and they lost i believe um a memo as well as they tried to make that engagement up the hill towards uh, against Persis. And now we see all of Ghost. They're making their way on over. Not to be confused with Ghost Gaming, the American team. It is, of course, Ghost Legion. And it seems to me like a 4AK that indeed did manage to go back towards the military island. So committing all the way down there. Don't want to take any risks. And now the two players that are in apps here for personal courage. They're starting to sneak around rather than sprint around because they know that they have people nearby. And if you're Arthur, if you're Golpi, you got to push this one together. Shots were fired over here. They ran over here when they heard the, after they heard the shots were fired. They have to know at this point there are opponents in these apartments. And you cannot run around on your own if you have that info to play with. You can see they are pushing together. Smart place, smart place coming in. But are you pushing together enough? Oh, it's Fosford with the Uzi gonna catch you off. God, Alpha gets taken down. Oh, the timing! The timing! No, no, no. So unfortunate. Fosford is down to low HP, but he gets him as well. Gopi caught off guard on the stairs. He was looking up for the top floor, and Fosford sat there waiting for him, and that's three players down. Wow, what an unfortunate timing for the Ghost Legion team. As soon as they were about to peek up, Alpha got knocked on the other side. That forced one player, Arthur I believe it was, to turn around and look over to see if he could assist him. As soon as he spins around, down comes Fosford from the stairs and takes out one. And then, holy cow, what a timing. What an unfortunate timing for him to be taken or for them to be taken out there. But nonetheless, nonetheless, that is what happens. You gotta be at your 120,000% focus if you want to be able to take fights in these areas of the map. And more often than not, at least, the defending player when you are in these apartment buildings, the defending player tends to have the um, better chance of, of pulling off the victories. Meet Jamaicas, they're making their rotation on in. They had a crazy good game, number one, with 13 kills, I believe, for 12, 13, 14, something around their kills, and a top five placement. Now they're trying to see, of course, if they can repeat something similar to that. Aurora, they have come off to a bit of a rougher start. They are trying to see if they can get something going here. They were in the placements in game number one that finished out. Oh, game number two, make that. That um, that finished out west. 
But what can they pull off here? Oshtek as well. They had such a close run when it came to making it to those finals for the uh, contenders. But in the end, they just exactly lost out on that. And now they're forced into... Um, into the uh, the relegation promotional matches here. Outlaw, you can see they're chasing down O'Connell. I mean, there are three guys in the vehicle, so two guys can start shooting. And I'm not sure O'Connell has any clue that they're driving right behind him because that US is rather noisy. Now they're driving up towards LXG as well. So three different teams pretty much rotating in the same path here, right next to one another. It's like, um, it's as if they're all trying to get to the same place. And I wonder where that would be. Would expect to see them trying to get that compound that's up on the top of the um, of the hillside up here to then scout further down. Maybe go down towards Cube and see if you can scout further down from there uh, even before that huge potential. They have been looting in Primorsk and they are going, or they're going to get their rotation going at any moment. Now Dictator though taken down and I like this from LXG. So they knew that they had a team rotating on the east side. They had a team like one guy rotating from Oshtek right next to them with three guys in the vehicle and they were like hmm. So we only saw a couple in there. What if we just jump out and wait? There must be someone else coming right? And they did so and they got themselves a knockoff. But ooh, watch out. Don't run over your teammate. And he runs into him anyway. <laughs> Dude, guys, that could have been uh, that could have been very embarrassing. Fortunately, fortunately, that it wasn't a knock. It was just a little a little off tap with the US. That's uh, of course as painful as the fact that you lose half your HP off of it. Yannick caught off. Somewhat would argue miles out in the open, but uh, I mean, for target for broken, get up to those windows and start shooting. Because if you know that he was out there, you better start shooting back towards him. Sure, he has an SLR, but. Um, this is a guy that you just called off miles out in the open, and you gotta start shooting towards him. And now he gets spotted out. Two shots are fired. One connected. Ooh, Yannick lives with a scare. They're jumping into the vehicle. Broken wants this. Or does he? Does he want this? Does he want to go for the kill? I don't think so. And oh, Ghost Legion, 16th place. That's this time around. It's not that visual bug. It is, as a matter of fact, them going down this early on. Aurora tried to go for a good spot, but we've seen Persis sit up here before, and they got themselves this spot once again. Not a whole lot you could do from there, unfortunately. And Swarm now trying to make the rotation on over. Seems like they'll be able to unite with their teammates. But uh, that vehicle, of course, has taken quite a few bullets. And as you can see, they are on the far northern side of the circle. They might want to figure if they really want to they really want to rotate any further in that dash if they want to try and see if they can find themselves another vehicle to rotate with fun plenty of bullets in the backpack plenty of bullets to spam plenty of bullets and tap away over towards this aurora team that already lost one player but as you could see there on the map just before you had all of art of war actually pushing up behind them and if art of war realizes that meet your makers is somewhat split 2-2 two -two right now that could potentially be some uh, some damage coming. You can see how they're running up behind them. And Meteor Makers have no clue they're getting pushed from behind. Tony and Memo, perfect. Perfect engagement on towards them. But they have to watch out. Flo, he has the position. Shots are coming in from both sides. Misses the first one. That's unfortunate. On a sitting target. That is one of the easier ones to connect. But unfortunately, not able to uh, do so. Probably the easiest chance you get to uh, connect those shots. And we've seen him land some crazy ones before. So unfortunate that he doesn't manage to connect that one. But this seems to me like we did see team um, a temporary name lose one player. Nemirith trying to hold the angle. These no, that's actually Silas. Silas taking down while his vehicle is uh, <laughs> is running off of him. Trying to go back in the car. New circle pops and it's gonna go dead center. At least as center as it could be compared to the landmass. So fortunately, water shifted away from. Fortune, Fortune, then worth trying to make the driver run over. Misa spotting them out now. Damage being applied, but no knocks coming in so far. It is a dark smoking vehicle, though, and Nemrith, they want to get out of it. They need to get out of that car. Deez is up north. Yannick and Nemrith down there. They've sure just lived with the scare, because one or two more bullets would have been a double and kill for Misa. And Misa now forced to run back down the hill. Still four guys alive on Wizards, but Misa is very, very far away from the teammates. Swamp, they've made it in on the edge to the yellow houses. Trying to see if they can scout their way further forward. And maybe see if they can catch somebody off on the rotations. You can see that you uh, that Dasha there already smoking as well. Don't want to drive for too much longer in that vehicle. If they can avoid it, of course. Slow rotations coming in. 30 seconds to go until that next circle is going to start moving. Mm 
Moon playing it ever so cautious. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Four guys in a vehicle. We'll always love to see it. <laughs> Four guys in a vehicle. Mm -mm -mm. And goodbye, car. <laughs> And it's gonna get so much speed to his quizzy. It's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, car? Was there another car over here somewhere? <laughs> That's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Headshot coming in from Arsenal. He just stopped running. Like, quiz, you can just see Quizzy's face. Like, are you actually kidding me? <laughs> that is so much fun. <clears throat> But of course, extremely annoying for the team that lost the car to the blue circle. <laughs> Four guys in a car and it just takes off without them. Like, nope. See ya, guys. I ain't going into that circle, that's for sure. <laughs> it did look like they had one more vehicle on the road to the right side, though. So I hope I hope that they, uh, that they had another one available. Swarm now, though. Pushing up towards a... Um, a uh, already contested to a certain extent Gatka, and I think Yannick might just want to run off on this one. He's clearly not going into the city any further. You can see he's up there. He's laying north of the um, of the compounds and the rocks up there. He was probably planning to go down into the city of Gatka itself, but uh, you can see the teammates are spinning the compound up north. But him, you can see, yep, he's out here on the rocks. Not wanting to go in anywhere. Now he stands up, gets himself a knock. Nimrith assisting on it as well and gets the finish off too. Great pressure applied. Didn't want to let his position be known until they had a guaranteed kill. Now they did just that. But he's going to need some help from his teammates. Oh, Yannick, you cannot go through there. you got to go all the way around. And Wizards are applying a ton of pressure from Yellow Houses down towards him now. Falls down behind the rock, but Broken has the angle on towards him. And that is going to be the knock that is going to, um, well, I mean, at least get him knocked here. The knock that is going to get him knocked. Yes, that is exactly a sentence that I just said, and it made perfect sense. And uh, Emirath tried to go over, apply some pressure, help out a bit, but not enough to um, to get that res on up. He goes down, and well, the guys are running. And can we see the next circle? Then we will know how far they have to run from here, because clearly, clearly they didn't have a, uh, a vehicle to work with. That is actually unfortunate. I mean, if this next circle is even further away, oh, it is. But uh, guys, you oh, okay, so they have a vehicle now. Three guys in a vehicle yet again. <laughs> we just sorted them up there before. Winners of the previous game for AK4 Angry Kits. Had themselves a, uh, a hell of a performance, or at least next T's did over a thousand damage. I think it was a thousand fifty two damage done and seven kills. Really, really good performance. And pretty much all those kills came in late game when they really mattered. So well done by him. Intense. Sitting on his own, trying to hold an angle. Then a Taurus somehow doesn't get the knock on towards Shisho. See all the damage done, all the pressure being applied, and then it's all this time around. Gets himself one knock, but there's still more players to be dealt with, and he's all by himself. He needs so much help from up the hill. His teammates aren't quarry. They can apply pressure down, but he cannot push anything from here. Just forced to play it safe. He's just running behind the vehicle, just trying to, waiting. Waiting for him to pro like push around the side. And he goes down. Outlaw secures the knock on towards him. I believe we saw one more knock coming in in that fight just before as well. Some multiple fights happening across the board. Tempt name does go down. Yannick was down before Silas went down earlier. And now it's O'Connell from Yellow House is taking out both Nemirth and Dees. So that is going to be them down and out in 15th place. I believe they only got one kill with them too. That was the one that... Um that Nemerith got earlier. So they did put the scare when Misa tried to blow up their vehicle, but in the end they did get finished off. Hickey now taken out as well. Intense chilling by himself in this compound. But there are three other teams in this area as well. Really, really tough area to play around. And it's not going to be easy for any of them to really disengage on it when there's so many players around here. Oh, Misa, nice little jump over the fence with the US. Could have been grim, could have been ugly. We never know what happens when those vehicles with full speed start bouncing around fences. A lot of interesting PUBG only type things can happen, but fortunately not a um, not a whole lot happened there. Memo or Ben Q mate that will go down, Tony does as well, and Art of War go out in 14th place. So two of the, uh, I guess two, two, um, two teams with players that we know from, from, from a lot of previous games in the top lists of the uh, competitive scene. Go out early on. Unfortunate for them. We did see. Uh, we did see some good games coming in today from 
from the temporary name they got themselves a winning game too that a second place in the first game as well and it's also last game for Ang uh, art of war they had themselves a really really good previous game with andy getting himself six kills i believe it was and they got into a top five spot too so uh, good games coming for them today overall but of course not the kind of way you wanted to finish off the day for those of you guys sitting here watching that is the final game of the day so to anyone going down now well at least they get to go to bed earlier or or do whatever they want to do Mesa trying to pull on up get himself some sort of cover apply some pressure down towards lxg lxg were the winners of game one and we haven't really seen a whole lot from them since then they got into a decent placement last game mainly off of them being in a good position with the compound in the circle but um, but didn't get a lot of kills with it, so it didn't really amount to much in the end. I believe they got a third place that previous game, a fourth place in the uh, in the previous match. Now Wizards, see Eros is running on up. They know they have them in the uh, on the other side, and they want to deal with this side flank before they try to push any further center. They don't want to have to run with them once they're making their way further inside the next circle. They want to deal with them first and T-Bone and Eris gets the initial knocks, but Quissy, he's in a position to apply a lot of pressure, but there's one more above him, and that's such an important position from Misa. Such an important spot to be in. Had he not been there, that could have been the double knock coming in from them, and it's not gonna happen thanks to Mesa right there. They all live to see another day. Really, really well positioned by Mesa there. They're expecting one more to be around this side, and Eris gets himself the double, securing the finish up onto LXG. Really good job by, well, all of them to connect the shots initially, but the Mesa right there, the, um, the, the MVP of that fight, having that high ground position and the awareness that, um, <clears throat> oh, the, the, the awareness that one more could be pushing in from the side. Good job and nice positioning from the Wizards players there. Now we see Swarm going down to, well, Swarm. <laughs> Not something you see happen too often, but Swarm indeed are making their way down to Swarm. They get plus 10 aim when they're down here. Alia though does go down immediately. So clearly the aim isn't going to help them out. Tuck going down as well. Broken does get one knock. But there are still a lot more players to be dealt with than Broken is all by himself. Tuck is knocked already. Nate is coming in now. Could be the uh, the deal breaker. And sure it is right on the face of Party. Gets the finish up onto one. And the knock on towards Party. Party gets well. Now more damage is being applied over towards Mini up north. What a hell of a well thrown nade right there. Mesa now, Mesa now, Mini trying to throw nades in return. Gets the door broken off, but not a whole lot more to it than that. Broken spots him in the blue. We are in phase four, so it's starting to do a bit more damage, but of course not nothing lethal so far. You can still run around in the blue for a little while. Spots are one. Can he get this finish off? Then he will be able to get himself not one, but two rests. Same thing going here for Broken. Can he uh, apply the pressure needed? They could get the help out. Zero comes in, gets the rest up onto one. And Party with a nade takes out Toxin on Broken. What was a 1v1? Could he have finished that one off earlier? It's now a 1v3. Not going to be easy for him to get out of this one alive at all. Because they for sure want to get this kill before they move anywhere further. And you can see further down south, Riddle. They're sitting in the compound where the game ended on game number... One, that is. I was just trying to think back. Now game number two, that is. Game number two. Today, the same compound down there. They're sitting in it. And as soon as one of these two teams come out of here alive, that is going to be... Um, that's going to be the next team to be dealt with, for sure. Party, peeking over the top. Just now applied over towards Broken as well. You can see Wizards, they have a good position. They can just exactly not hit them. Well, that is a shot. Connected. <coughs> That's a hit. Connected. Running. Next day, pushing up. Taking out some players from Oshtek Warriors as well. Arsenal will go down in the top two. So, finally, finally, off of a good performance from Nixie last game, we see the 4AK team kind of rise to the occasion. They had two rough first games, but now they're making things work. As I say that though, Northrest goes down. Trade off coming in immediately. See so wrong a little out of position there. Broken, still alive. Still alive. Just trying to buy himself some time. Just three more teams to eliminate before you get at least one placement point. And that of course would be, I guess, worth playing for I me. Mean, we've seen so many times how even in tournaments that go over 40 games, I mean, we've seen it beat down to the absolute wire in the end of things. Phosphor down, so that's going to be personal courage. Out, Saga, trying to do the damage needed towards T-Bone. Somehow that vehicle did not get exploded. Three of those bullets went into the... Uh, to the wall up by Sag. I believe it had those three bullets hit. That could ah, 
maybe not been an exploded vehicle, but something close to it. Something close to it. Intense. Now crawling up the side here. He's all by himself. All on his lonesome. And he is not wanting to give up his position whatsoever. He knows there are multiple players from 4AK who were on the other side. He heard the shots fired before. He saw Siron go down and he's just slowly moving his way forward. I'm not sure exactly why he decides to go down in here. Preferably over around, but with him not knowing exactly where the opponents are. I guess it, it kind of makes sense. He knows there's a four-man team ahead of him. And all he needs to do is to have them just kind of kill everything in front of him. And he can just continue to run behind them. And also, with uh, with 4AK having been in the quarry area for so long, they um, they aren't expecting anyone to be pushing him behind them because they've been sitting here for so long, so they aren't going to expect for a for a solo player to be down here. You can see, I mean, the Major Makers, they have more players alive. It's just Intense is kind of, um, kind of chilling behind them right now. <laughs> I believe they have more players alive. Or is it just me getting debated by Wizards and Intense or Major Makers' uh, colors being somewhat similar? Oh, he's a, okay, so he's, he's a solo player. He's a solo player. I was just gonna say he... Calling on forward. Party goes down. One more team to eliminate before you get into those placement points. Intense. Jumps down one step. Ooh, don't want to do it too fast. He's starting to hear the steps from the opponents as well. He's not inside the circle yet, though. Jumps down one more. Bounces off. Good jump, good jump, good jump. Crawling on forward. Runny gets one. Ooh, spots out three players. Now he jumps down to the next step. Do you want to shoot or do you not? I, I would not shoot if I was you. Four guys spotted and he's inside the circle. Nice sneaky place, but he gets spotted out from the side. So unfortunate. And Nixty has to figure there's got to be players behind. And Shishiro takes down Intense. Well, well done as far as the effort goes. But unfortunately, unfortunately that tree only covered you from so many angles. And it wasn't going to be enough. Purses now. They've had three rough games to start off the day. And they're starting to... Uh, at, least, at least they got themselves into the placement points now. They're at all by himself inside the house trying to uh, jump and duke out that nade gets himself some damage done but in the end not gonna be enough gets only one knock off of it and actually no actually that was shishio knocking his teammate <laughs> shishio got the knock in the end but uh, no kills coming in for him nice effort by intense there before but unfortunately shishio had the angle he was expecting more people to come down from the hills and I guess you can say that 4AK kind of dragged his attention over and he was allowed to spot up one more of it. Moon doing something smart there that most of you guys might not think about. But uh, if you if you reload that car 98 with all bullets out, it's going to be one reload animation rather than four. So he fires off the last bullet before he reloads. Smart play by him. Just one of those small things, but it does lose a teammate and all of that. Mesa gets a double nade in there as well. Gets a triple kill as well. Can we get down the four? Can Mesa take down the entirety of Persis? That would be absolutely insane. We can't see exactly where it's happening right now, but so much damage being done. We have three fights going on, and Eris gets the final one. That's going to be Persis down. And even though it says that it was a wipe by the entire team, seems like Mesa was the main damage dealer in that team right there. Great performance coming in from Wizards once again, and this could have been Misa and Wizards eliminated really early on had they not been able to deal with the push coming in from the side from LXG. So really, really clutch points being added to the list. It is only three days of games. Oh, and I think Shisho heard that. Uh, <gasps> yep, he heard it. He heard that um, that booster being used. As you guys could see in uh, the recent Wacky Jacky video, the sounds of healing have been upped by quite a bit. So, um, so clearly the sound of him popping that... Uh, uh, opening that that energy of the booster right there was uh, was revealed to his opponents. Now Snipple goes down Northwest. Needs to pull off one hill of a Nixty if he wants to get out of this one alive. He has his teammate. He's trying to go for the rest. It's a somewhat risky one at that, but uh, could be possible. Shishu is trying to spray on through the smoke. One or two more taps should be able to get him down. But they have the Wizards over on the other side that they need to watch out for as well. You can see he's trying to see if he can spot them on the backside of the smoke. But Wizards are applying pressure. And Shishu goes down to the blue. That's so unfortunate. And that's going to be both of them down because of it. Sixth place. He got a bit too greedy trying to get the finish off. But goes down because of it. So unfortunate. Sniffle now has to crawl on forward as well. And you can see arrows. Ten kills for Wizards. Already, just five teams remaining. They lost O'Connell earlier, sure, but they still have a chance to take home a win here in the final game of the day. Clip with a mini, with him, with him, with the knock onto a mini, I guess I should say. And now three teams sharing the, uh, sharing the compound. Why not? There's room for three teams in here.
AP thrown all the way through. Oh, just bounces off the side. Sniffle knocked once again. And uh, once more, it's up to North Race to pull off this by himself. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a bit confused there, I think. North Rest all by himself trying to stay alive against three players from wizards it's gonna be tough he has the blue on his back and it ain't exactly easy when you're up against a team that already has this amount of kills northwest he's trying to tank it through can you do it though 10 ticks per hit and that is going to be him down and out might have had it but with the new first eight changes he did not get the instant heal he only got half and he died and he probably would have died anyway so um unfortunate he goes down fifth place though Good uh, two games to finish off the day for sure, though. They came off to a really, really rough start, but they got themselves a good thing going in the um, in that third game. Nine kills, I believe it was, overall. Or eight or nine kills overall, and a win at that. So 18 points collected for the team. T-Bone down to the circle now. That's a little, uh, a little odd. No shots were fired as far as I'm concerned. And he goes down to the blue here. That's unfortunate. Maybe one shot was connected that we didn't notice. But of course, we are in phase 7. And these circles are starting to do more and more damage. Misa has been one hell of a hero player. At least here in the final game. But right now, it's all about that compound. Wizards, all they're hoping for is that in 10 seconds, this circle goes hard southwest. They do not want to have to cross on over here. And everyone inside... Right, vice versa. They do not want to have to push anywhere outside of this compound. Circle, though, goes over towards the east. So for Misa and for Wizards, in general, like overall, this is going to be one hell of a tough place to uh, to get anything going. Coppen. There are four guys alive. They're pushing in. Oh, he doesn't expect him on the right side, but that's why we trade off. Oh, no. Amorous getting knocked by a teammate. That's two guys down. Tess needs to get over there and help out immediately. If they realize that two guys knocked, they might just want to, just going to say, might just want to try and do some damage. But Black, oh, my God. Yorkdale. He tried to go down and do the damage needed. He knew there were two knocks down there. But uh, the third team comes in and interferes. And all of a sudden, Clip, it's all that's left of the team now. Okay. And, um, and a lot more to it that he tried to jump out of the window, get himself into a good position, but not able to get the finish offs that he wanted. Amorous still being knocked. They could potentially do something and look at this because all these teams are focusing so hard on what's going on inside the compound. Both Arrows and Misa have actually been allowed to push around from the side. Clip lost two teammates really quickly. And um, and he can't peek anything anymore. The same thing going on the other side because uh, Black is all by himself now too, and he can't peek anything. So Wizards actually have a pretty decent spot. Shoot this next circle, which is the final one. So that's of course not going to happen. But it is going to finish outside and well, I mean I guess just on the western side of the compound between Misa and Eris actually. So it's going to go outside of the compound in the end of things. And if Misa, both Misa and Eris can somehow put up. Uh, some sort of crossfire. They have a chance, but of course, four players alive in Benconas, it's gonna be really, really tough to deal with. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy at all. Two solos, a four-man team, and a duo remaining. You see them. They're holding each their side here. They're expecting the pushers to come down from either side, and, uh, well, I mean, for Benconas, they need to figure out how they want to push this. They know they have the numbers. They know they're having ad advantage when it comes to firepower, but they need to make the run down the hill here. Now they're at least trying to throw some smokes to grant themselves a bit more cover where there uh, otherwise wouldn't be any. Black has the smoke, or the, uh, the, the, the flash in hand, anticipating the push to come in towards him. But right now they're committing on another house. It's Clip. It's going to be all by himself, and the push is coming from Benconas. Nate's coming up. Actually, that's going to be a flashbang going down. So, complete the opposite of what he just said. <laughs> and they need to play this one smart. Oh, that's a good timing to pick up a flashbang right there. Pretty fortunate timing. They have the downstairs. And, of course, they're running around so much that they can't really tell that Clip is upstairs. Jumping out the window. Spots one. Oh, no. Only jumps up on the edge of the windows. That's Amorous down. And at this point in the game with the circle closing until there's nothing more to close towards. It's not sure that he's going to be able to get rest. And he is. And Black gets the finish off on towards him. So the four-man squad is down to just three. 
The solos are working together, trying to hold him off. They know that Clip is inside the house, though. He needs to make the run on out, and Coppin takes a couple of shots towards him. Him under half HP now as well. Clip throws the smoke out, needs to get some sort of cover. Still has six smokes remaining, so it could just be him trying to smoke wall his way to the end of the game. Wants to get out, he's vaulting up on the roof now. Smart plays coming in from Clip. Really, really smart place. They're anticipating him upstairs, but they could be spending too much time trying to find him. Will he see Tess, though? Will he be able to spot out Tess downstairs? You see, they're both down there. They know that he's up there. Smart play, though. I like the effort. I like the attempt from Clip, but kind of a last resort thing that even if he got the damage done, jumping down and getting inside the next circle would have been extremely difficult. Maybe with six smokes remaining, should have thrown a few more, but did not work out the way that he wanted to. Black now gets one, but he gets taken down in return. And all of a sudden, it's a 2v2 and Wizards are doing everything. Gets the first one, gets the double, and takes home the win with 13.